So I just did something of a feature overview and a comparison video between the DM42 and the older HP42. I just wanted to do a quick review of the the 42 specifically now. So one of the things that I really like is the added row of soft keys at the top, dedicated soft keys. So now when I go into execute something, I've uh, I can do operations, take the the log or take the square root of something without having to get out of that soft key menu. So now I've got those dedicated soft keys. That's a really nice feature. Another really nice feature is the ability to um, type in something without having to use the, the built-in labels here. So if you needed to do P, then you'd go P, and then you needed to do R, and you'd go R, and then O, and you'd go O. <clears throat> Well now, you can use the built-in keyboard here. Let me just hit Shift and then Up, and you'll see the enunciator change to capital A. So now I can do um, P, R, O, etc. So I can that makes the keyboard active so that I can use those to enter in um, characters, enter in stuff in the alpha menu. But the really nice feature about the calculator is you have a USB port up here. The USB, po USB port can be used to charge the calculator. So it has the battery voltage indicator up here. You can charge it, and I've not had a problem with this. I've used this for probably five hours solid, and I've not seen the voltage really drop at all. So the battery seems to last a while, but you can recharge it through the USB port. It also has an IR emitter if you wanted to use it with a older uh, HP IR printer or something. It has the much nicer, larger screen, and it's it's hard to see just how beautiful this screen is when you're looking on camera. It, it really doesn't capture it, but it's a, it is a really, really nice screen. I love the contrast on it, and I like the size. I forgot. So USB port, you can load and store programs. And that's huge because on the older HP calculators, if you wrote a program, the only way to get it onto there was to type it all in yourself. And then if you change batteries or you lost that calculator somehow, you the only way to duplicate those programs was to retype them all out. So now you can very, very easily connect to a computer, save your program, load new programs on there. The, the community is creating programs. I think this is a, a fantastic feature. It makes the calculator modern. I go here to the, so I'm just on the home screen. I hit the menu here and I get the help menu. So quick reference guide. I can just look up various different types of topics. It's just really handy to have that on the calculator itself to be able to just quickly, how did I do something? Oh yeah, I'll just look it up real quick. You have volume, so hitting the volume, this ch makes the volume go up, shift, and then volume down. That makes it quieter. Changing the format, right now it's in the, it was, that, that's the register format, so it was on the left-hand side. I can right align it, and I can right align it with Leeler lines. Put it back. Font size, again, pushing that makes the font get bigger. Pushing shift makes the font get smaller. Now, regardless of what you set the font size here, currently, if you go into your program, you still just see eight lines in your program. Ah, I can change the font size in the program. Okay. Get rid of that menu, and now let's go into Setup. So this is a new new menu. It wasn't on the original 42S, but it is on the DM42. So you go to your File Settings. You can load a program. So I can go down here and say I want to load this program that I put in from, uh, from my computer. Just hit that. It says Loading, Success, and we've got that loaded. Now if I go into my execute menu, I'll see my, my days there and I can calculate the number of days in between a specific date. Go into setup again, file, save program. 
And here's, here's all the programs that I currently have on the calculator. So if I wanted to save a particular combination of them, let's see, I want to save mass, force, and energy. Then I hit enter, and then go ahead and save it as, I don't know, let's say I'm going to save it as um, C-O-N-V, and hit enter, and I saved it. So now if I go into load programs, you'll see there's my C-O-N-V program that I offset or offloaded. And then I can put that on a computer and I can load it on another calculator or share it with others. Activate USB disk, that's when you connect the USB port, then you go in here and you select that, and that allows you to then connect to the computer. And disk info gives you an idea of just how much memory is on this. This is a really, really nice feature. So the calculator state. I can save a particular configuration. My custom menu, set it up how I like. My display, set it up how I like. Add in the specific programs that I want for this application and then save that state. And then anytime I want to go back to that configuration, I can just load that state. So I'm going to load my double E state. Ask me to confirm. Now that's loaded. And I've got it displayed in the upper left here. And these are just programs specific to an, a, a certain application that I wanted. You can also load a clean state, and that just resets it back to how it originally was. This is how it comes from the factory, so I've got the date up there, time. And then I want to go back to my general state, and there I am. And this is my configuration that I've currently got it set up for. Also go into setup, you've got settings, set the time, set the date, you can just set what you want to display on the status bar. So for example, I wanted to have the voltage in the header. I didn't really care about the date or the, the time, but I did like the state file names up there. Change how you want to display the stack. So here's your different options. X, Y, Z, T are the four levels of the stack, and then L is your last X, A is your alpha uh, register. And then you can set up those different configurations. So that's, <clears throat> that's mainly it. It's a very, very nice calculator. The build quality is very, uh, very good. It feels heavy in the hand, and I'll, I'll pull it apart in a minute but it's a, a metal backing with some kind of a powdered finish on it, and it's it just feels solid. It feels well built. The one thing that I would dislike about it is that the keys are just a little bit hard to press, so I don't think you're going to be sitting here and able to do this very easily with one hand. Thumbs, it works pretty well, but I'm still getting used to... Um, just the feel on the keys. And maybe they will loosen up over time, but right now they just feel too stiff to me. But I, I'm trying to get used to that. So let me take this second one here. These calculators are made to be pulled apart. So a couple of Phillips head screws. If you've ever pulled apart an old HP calculator, you know all of those, uh, I forget what they call them, the, the rivets that are heat or thermal thermally melted or something. So I pulled off those two screws. Let me just ease that apart. And then at the bottom here, you'll see that there's these little um, studs that stick out. So just slide that down and out, and the calculator is open. So again, you can see this is a metal backing. Look inside, there's our ARM chip, and the speaker, USB port, IR emitter, ribbon cable to go to the other side. And if I wanted to pull this whole circuit board out, I'd just have to take these two uh, Phillips head screws out and then pull the circuit board off. It's a really straightforward, really nice design. It looks clean, looks professional. Wouldn't expect less of Swiss Micros, right? That's basically it. Uh, this calculator is just about perfect in every way. I expect that the community will be developing more on the firmware. You'll be able to go into the setup menu, 
um, file, <coughs> sorry, system. And then I believe you would be able to load in new, um, new firmware through this menu here. So as the community develops it, as Swiss Micro develops it, I think we're going to see some nice new features. A lot of requests have been already made, and I think this calculator will improve. Again, the only thing that I would critique on it right now is the, the key presses. And then I would like, personally, to be able to control whether the stack sits at the bottom of the screen or top. Specifically, when I go into a menu here, I would rather see my soft key line, just a bare line there, a, a empty line all the time, rather than shift it up and down. See what my stack, just like the original 42, shifts up. So I'd rather see the stack sit at the top, and then instead of having to go between this bottom line and that top line, I'd rather have this line sit down there above that. So if the stack could be top, top aligned, and then the alpha or input menu move down below that, and then the space for the soft keys at the very bottom, that would make me happy. Well, that's kind of nitpicky. Honestly, I'm really, really, really enjoying the calculator. This is by far my favorite calculator, and I'm going to be using it all the time.